Hello and welcome to another Traders Terminal video. My name is Jordan and today we're going to talk about three things. So the very first thing we're going to discuss is what are buy stop limit and sell stop limit orders. We're also going to cover why are they so useful. And the third thing we're going to cover is how to use them in MT4. If you're using MT5, you're already aware that these two orders were introduced with MT5, but unfortunately, for those who are still using MetaTrader 4, these two options are not available. And these two options are super uh, good and beneficial for us, and we're going to cover that in a second. But first of all, let's talk about what are the buy stop and the sell stop limit orders. The easiest way, in my opinion, to understand these two orders is to think of them as two-step or two layers orders. Basically, you require from the market, from the price to do, first of all, one thing, and then you want to do second thing, which is a consequence of the first thing. In other words, I'm giving you straight away an example. Let's say you're a breakout trader and you have this, right? And the price is right here. What you're looking for is for the price to break, and then you want to be trading the pullback and you want to be buying right here during the pullback. So in this case, you can use buy stop limit order and you can tell uh, the terminal the following. If the price reaches this zone, this level, I would like to place a buy limit order right here. Okay. So this way you have a lot of advantages you're waiting for the breakout you're waiting for the pullback and the price goes on and you don't have to be around the pc all right super beneficial same thing applies for uh the opposite which is the sell stop limit so let me go to door kit door cut and here we have the opposite right so basically what you can say is let's wait for a breakout i want to see the price coming to this zone or to this zone then i want to see a pullback and i want to be selling from here or i want to be selling during the pullback from here two steps first step i want to see the price doing this and then if that happens place sell or buy order at this level as i said uh, this is super beneficial for us, especially for the breakout traders. So those are the two types of orders which we are missing in MT4, but they are super beneficial. So how can we use them in MT4? Well, unfortunately, there is no straightforward way to do that, but there is an alternative, which is to use a third-party software. And this is exactly what I'm going to share with you today, the Spotlight Trader. So this is a trade manager uh, in its core, but it is, think about it as uh, something which is boosted on steroids, right? You have a lot of features, you have a lot of extra stuff going on there. And of course you can use it as a, a regular normal manager without any conditions, just put your risk, the size, you get the calculation here of the potential, uh, the statistics basically, right? And then you're placing the order or opening a market buy or sell. But in order to take advantage of um, a two-step order, we can be using the two-step entries, which is essentially the same thing as the MT5 orders. So giving you an example, let's say that we're looking for a uh, breakout like this. The price is approximately right here. And this is a double wave. We're looking for a breakout, pullback, and then continuation. What we want to see is for the price to break below this trend line, right? If the price is here, we want to see breakout below. What we can do is just take the parameters from the trend line, copy that, and then we're going to say, first of all, enable the two-step entries. This way, we're telling uh, the software that we're going to be using this condition. And then all we have to do is choose whether we would like to see a bar closing above or below, or we want to see market bid price breaking the way I will do it with a breakout. If the bid price, which is the market price, breaks below 
the price which we copied from the trend line. And then it gives me a pullback. So if the price comes here and then it goes and gives a pullback of a few pips and goes to this level, which I'm going to take from the trend line now, bit breaks above this one, I would like to be doing a market sell. Once you select the market sell, then you just fill in the options, fixed lot, fixed money, and the size, right? That's it. So essentially what we're saying here uh, to the terminal through the software is if we get a bid price below 123.56, which is somewhere around here. So if the price does this and the price, the market price goes to 123.64, which was approximately here, I would like to be doing market sell or sell pending or market buy or buy pending with uh, this kind of risk type and this kind of risk size. And of course, you can be using here uh, the lines to set up your stop loss. You can be using the lines to set up the target, et cetera, et cetera. So this is pretty straightforward now and I really love it. So I really hope this is going to be beneficial for you as well. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And I guess that's all for this video, guys. So have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.